russellformining.com.au and joining me today is the Managing Director for ABX Group, Mark Cooksey. Mark, it's great to see you again. How are you? Yes, I'm well, Shane. Great to see you again so soon. It is. Look, I'm not going to lie. I've enjoyed our chats this week. It's been great to see what you're doing on the road and how you're progressing uh, ABX in the North American markets. But I want to touch on a little bit about what you've done today. Now, I believe you're coming to us from Canada right now, and you've just recently been on a tour with UCOR, who ABX Group has signed an MOU with. Uh, tell me, what did you learn visiting this facility? Yeah, so UCOR, yeah, Canadian company planning to build a separation plant in the USA. So they're an ideal customer for ABX. So ABX could produce a mixture of carbonate, sell that to UCOR. So today I saw their demonstration plant. It's a couple of hours from Toronto. And so had good discussions about their plans and their progress and a great tour of the plant to really learn the intricacies of the technology and, and where they're up to in their development. Um, you talk about their technology. What is it that makes their technology unique? Yeah, I, I find it really interesting. Um, you can imagine with any sort of process, and in this case, rare earth separation, there's there's an incumbent technology that is sort of a standard that people use, um, right through to brand new technologies that some people are trying. And, and you cause sort of in the middle, which is very interesting to me, it's, it's effectively the same chemistry as the current solvent extraction technology, but much better engineering. And I'm quite attracted to that because it's it still offers significant improvements over the incumbent, but less risk because it's not it's got not as many new dimensions to it. So that's what uh, I think is a compelling uh, uh, prospects for the technology. Let's bring this back to your rare earth uh, deep lead project in Tasmania. After attending the International Rare Earth Conference this week and also now doing a tour of UCOR's uh, facility, how has this developed a better understanding of your customer for you? Yeah, and I've talked about before, one of the challenges in rare earths is that because there's no standard products out there and there's few customers, particularly in the West, uh, you've really got to understand. It's, it's hard to know what you're aiming for with your product. You know, what does the... The quality have to be what's uh, what's the price have to be. So this whole week has really helped us understand those requirements a lot better, um, and and helped establish the relationships to continue to do that, which really gives us an objective, something to aim for. So we now know when we're planning our exploration and our metallurgical work and our financial studies, we've got a much clearer picture of what we need to deliver, what we need to achieve in order to attract customers. There's there's definitely a big opportunity here. You know, we've got customers really screaming out for products um, and it's hard to get new minds up. So whoever gets a good project up first uh, is in a really great position. Just to sort of simplify this for people who aren't in the rare earth space, a lot of this week has been about investigating not so much just what your customer needs, what, but what your customer, customer needs at the final end of the product to refine what you're producing from deep leads. Yeah, absolutely. And and so again, it's it's only really by having um, detailed discussions that you you see more about, say in the case of UCOR, what their potential customers are demanding. And that helps guide us to think, right, okay, if that's uh, advantageous for you or disadvantageous for you, well, that can, you know, maybe we can do something that helps you. Um, and so that sort of partnership approach, I think, is a real opportunity for like-minded parties uh, trying to create the rare earth supply chain. Uh, listen, Mark, this has been a great uh, tour of North America from my desk. Thank you very much for taking me on the journey with you. Uh, and thanks so much for being here. I can't wait to see what comes for Deep Leads next. Yeah, great. Thanks again, Shane.